Hello everybody, uh, welcome to at the pace of Shikhavati International Academy Seeker. I hope you all are doing well. This is Manoj Kumar and today we are going to uh, talk about a chapter from class 10th uh, book Footprint Without Feed and the chapter number is 6, The Making of Scientist. So here uh, the meaning of the title is how a scientist is built or how a scientist is created. Uh, what type of struggle is required and what type of determination is required what type of zeal curiosity is required you will come to know in this chapter here there is a person whose name is richard abright who had when he once he was a very small child uh, he was having a great great uh, interest influence regarding the butterflies and once at the age of 15 his name or his article has been published in a in a in a science magazine uh, that was a revolutionary uh, achievements he had done in his uh, life uh, in the in the field of biology. Uh, so uh, everything we will cover it in this chapter. So here before going to start the chapter, let's start uh, the question answer. How did a book become a turning point in a Richard Abright's life? How did his mother help him? So two questions are there. First question is how uh, the Richard. Uh, there was a book uh, how this book was uh, a turning point in his life what what was special in this book and what is the dedication what was the contribution of his mother uh, to get uh, success in his life so you have to tell about the book and his mother now let's start the chapter uh, at the age of 22 a former scout of the year excited the scientist scientific world with a new theory on how cells work so here when he was uh, 22 year old he had uh, has a like the whole people all the people of this world who were uh, who were associated themselves with the science they got so excited by reading uh, the by reading a theory of how cells work what is cells my dear students you know very well the cells are in our bloods and how they works and so that is the all about in uh, in the first second line means richard h abright and his college roommates explained the theory in an article in the proceeding of the national academic of science so this is the magazine name National Academy of Science. This is the name of a magazine and where H. Abright, Richard Abright as well as his classmates, his roommates, they explained a theory of how the cells work and it was published uh, as a form of article in the magazine of National Academy of Science. It was the first time this important scientific journal had ever published the work of college students so it was a very first time that somebody some reporters of a magazine or a newspaper had published an article uh, on their magazine that it was a first time that uh, a very newcomer got a space in one of the magazine which is highly reputed in the world in supports in sports that would be like making a big leagues at the age of 15 and hitting a home run your first time at the bat. So here, uh, suppose for example, the writer has correlate uh, the achievements of this boy H. Abright as he is associated his success with a one game. As you know that, my dear students, we know that baseball game. Baseball game. In this game, you know uh, when a person, when a player hit the ball with his bat, and the ball goes out of the or in the stadium or in the spectators where the crowd is gathering over there to see the match if the ball goes there then it is considered as home run so here he can the player can walk can have a run of all the four squares of the pitch so that is called home run so it was as his achievement was uh, same as a player has got his home run uh, which is known as uh, that is the his success In science and other fields, it was the first time in a long 
string of achievements in science and other fields and it all started with butterflies so he got many achievements in science and other fields but all it started how it all started it all started with the butterflies and an only child a bright grew up north of reading so he completed his reading his education in the north uh, pennsylvania pennsylvania is a state in uh, america there were not much i could do there so there was nothing that the abright could do something he said i certainly couldn't play football or baseball with a team of one so he said that i was not interested to play football or baseball in the in the team he said uh, but there was one thing i could do collect things so i have no interest in playing football or baseball i have the interest to collect things to store things as people have many habits uh, to collect many many things people generally collect stamps people generally collect old currency notes uh, coins uh, pebbles so different different things people generally use uh, collect some people generally uh, store some heading of the newspaper or which keeps in their files in their uh, boxes so whenever something is recorded required regarding the subject so they can take out from the type of things so he did and did so he ever beginning in the kindergarten a bright collected butterfly with the same determination that has marked all his activity so when he was studying in a kindergarten what is kindergarten it's a kind of a play school uh, where all the uh education accessories are being taught by playing games like abacus or some type of games are there so this is the kind of a, a a great environment for the beginning of the child or beginning of the students who is going to appear in a schooling line so kindergarten you cannot correlate kindergarten or school in a with each other they are totally different with each other so what his determination his determination with collecting the butterflies he also collected rocks fossils and coins fossils they the dead plants and as well as he collected coil coins as well as rocks he became an eager astronomer to sometimes star gazing all night gazing means look sometimes he pretends that he has great curiosity he has a great uh, interest to see the sky especially night time he continuously see the stars in the sky so he wanted maybe he wanted to become a, an astronomer so in this below part this is the definition of homer and what is homer so you can read it from the first he had a driving curiosity along with a bright mind so in the initial days he was having a great power of observation whatever something is being taught to him he learned very very nicely or very fastly each and everything so he also had a mother who encouraged his interest in learning so his mother was he was having a great support of his mother who always encouraged him always motivate him to do something extraordinary in his life she took him on trips she used to take this scientist abright on a trip bought him telescope microscopes cameras mounting materials and other equipments helped him in a many other ways so his mother was so kind his mother was so uh, knowledgeable woman who who knew that uh, that my child has a great interest towards uh, uh, towards the science towards the uh, like uh, like he wants to be astronaut so he, she was having a great power to just that uh, about his about her child so what she had brought she had brought microscope telescope cameras mounting materials and other equipments helped him in many other ways and definitely this question rises in your mind that how our mother didn't give us the type of things microscopes you know that that it's a kind of a a, a a small unit of to see the bacteria the germs the organism inside anything any stuff so as a type of things are required so telescope is required you know so it is a all the equipments are based on the science science and technology our mother generally gave us toys uh like for girls uh, it is doll or for boys it's a kind of a a car a racing car or bike like in a form of toys but why because our interest is in such type of fields our our interest was in childhood was not 
uh, in such type of things that how the plantation work how the plantation take its food what is photosynthesis that in our childhood time we were not interested doing such things we were interested to root out that plants small plants and doing some destruction word work so these were our activity that's why our mom our parents didn't give us microscope telescope don't take it personal but yes it is true now here what he is adding i was his only companion until he started school now this was the mother words that i was his only companion until he started school so before starting school that her mother was only his companion after that i would bring home friends for me for him but once he had gone to the school that uh, sometime his friend also uh, coming to his home to pay attention to pay visit or to meet with him but at night we just did things together richie was my whole life after his mother died after his father died when richie was in third grade so my dear students the upper one which we have read this paragraph the whole paragraph are is so important uh, and related there are three four questions are on the basis of guess could be uh, could be printed in your final exam paper so you have to whatever the paragraph i'm i'm marking you have to read it very carefully after completion of the chapter uh, at your home you just clear it very nicely so so they both richard and his mother mrs abright they both spent a great piece of time a quality of time with each other where the mother was always eager to make her child uh, to understand the world to make the child understand about the concept of all the science and all the fields now finally the richard richard was uh, when richard was in the third grade he uh, like his mother his father got died she and her son spent almost every evening at the dining room tables so they generally spent their uh, their time in evening on the dining table if he didn't have things to do i found work for him not physical work but learning things his mother said he liked it he wanted to learn so when there is nothing when there when the abright had not work or he was in a leisure time so his mother used to give him some work not physical work but the work based on learning so and he loved to learn new things he was so excited he was so eager to learn uh, new things and learn he did and of and all the things which he learned and now he is performing very good he earned top grades in school so uh, whatever he is learning just uh, and that was the result which comes in his result which comes in his the, in the exam paper when the exam is going to be finished then in the time of result he his performance were very splendid on every day things he was just like every other kid his mother said so on the daily basis he was a normal guys or a normal children a normal child as we have uh, general ch children in our life by the time he was in the second grade a bright had collected all 25 species of butterflies found around in his hometown see the following box so when he was uh, in which standard in the second grade he had collected almost 25 species of butterflies and which but which are the butterfly species you can uh, read out uh, in this small table species and subspecies of butterfly collected in the 6 weeks in reading pennsylvania uh, reading means what is reading reading is his a play a, is a is a place where is known as store room but he but for him it is a library uh, for him it is a a kind of a lab for him where he can experiment where he can observe the nature of butterfly uh, how the butterfly works how uh, the baby butterfly how the uh, mother butterfly how the father butterfly how the brothers live together how the sister butterfly live together so he just observe each and everything very carefully so first species of butterfly was uh, gossamer winged butterfly second one is white am hair stick acadian hair sticks so these are the subspecies of gossamer 
winged butterfly the, and and these white and hair sticks these are the sub subspecies of uh, of this butterfly brosen copper book copper purpish copper aston tail blue miss melissa blue silvery blue but here we need to understand only uh, only that he had a great theory about mona this species of butterfly had taken on the path of success he had done some great achievements he had found or he had discovered something new in the field of monarch species of butterfly and also there were two three uh, two three species also there of butterfly uh, let me read it with harry lenisel's morning printed voice roy this one also no the probably would have been the end of my butterfly collecting so once there was a stage where i have fed up to collect the uh, after collecting the butterfly because i got so fed up i got so bored because it was the same process the butterfly just live in my uh, my downtown like in, in in the in the basement where he had opened his own lab where he was having a research he was just observing every day uh, he, like what about the progress of his baby to adult or adult to teenage uh of the butterfly he observed through the microscope by the different different equipment to uh, to know the blood cells or everything but as he just about to leave his this hobby to collect the uh, butterflies but then my mother got me a children book called the travel of monarch x but as i was just about to give up the hobby of collecting butterfly then suddenly my mother appeared in front of me by holding a book a children book which is the name of the book was the traveling of monarch x so here how the title of the book name is the traveling the travel of monarch x how the monarch species of butterfly migrate in the america so how the process how they come from and how they are living in this atmosphere the book which told how monarch butterfly migrate to central america opened the world of science to the eager young collector and this species who had recently came in the in the central america and this is a great 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 uh, opportunity to work upon this species of monarch so this is also very important paragraph very very important paragraph at the end of the book readers were invited to help study butterfly migration so if after completion of the book in the last page of the book there is some something if the readers were invited to help study butterfly migration so uh, after completion after reading the book there was an invitation uh, to help in the study of butterfly if somebody is interested to get or to, to be get help or to be uh, got uh, or to be give the help to somebody else or he wanted to take the help uh, of studying about the butterfly especially mona they were asked to tag butterflies for research by dr frederick so there was this book was written by the dr frederick and where he had explained each and every activity of this butterfly monarch travel uh, the travel of monarch x and here he had suggested that what the student has to do the student has the student will get a chance to meet with me or or study with study with me or work upon on the any project but he or she had to do one thing he, that the child had to tag the monarch butterfly and keep observation on it abrights and uh, frederick a urquhart of the university of toronto canada abrights mother wrote to the doctor urquhart and soon abrights was attaching light adhesive tags to the wings of monarchs anyone who found a tag butterfly was asked to send the tag to dr urhan now here what was uh, there in the in the book 
in the last page there was an invitation and in the invitation uh, what the student has to do the student has to as you have seen that in the in many centuries my dear students there are many lions there are many many other species of uh, animals they are living together with each other with the, whether it is a tiger whether it is an elephant whether it is something else you know you have seen that people of the zoo the people of the century they first give an injection of unconsciousness to a particular uh, animal by the shot of rifle and then after they wore a kind of belt in which the gps is there the belt the camera is situated over there and the belt which keeps uh, to, which which generally gives the accuracy of the temperature of the body of animal the heartbeat everything the belt has uh, many equipments many facility many many things to get the information about the particular animal so here this is known as tag so the lion is tagged by the by the centuries doctor and now they are doing some uh, work upon it and they take the cells you know why they are tagged because it is easy to find uh, find them in the next time because uh, in in this belt there is a gps attached so by the help of gps they do not need to uh, rotate or take a a wonder here and there for a long period of time just according to the gps direction they can follow their uh, their tag animal or it is easy to work upon them so here the dr urkhart has also suggested that the student has to put a tag on the butterfly a butter a tag could be on the feather of the butterfly the wing on the of the butterfly or anything but he had to do some tag on it and if somebody will be able to get the tagged you know what you have to tag and then you have to leave this butterfly uh, in the air and after a process of 6 month after a process of 3 month after a process of 1 year the person has to again find out the tag butterfly who has tagged on him or on it a very uh, last year or in a 6 month before or 3 month before then he had to find out this thing now the butterfly collecting season around reading last 6 weeks in the late summer so he did almost uh, he spent almost 6 month or the summer in about the studying of the butterfly seeing graph below if you are going to chase them one by one you wouldn't catch very many so the next step for the abride was to raise a flock of butterflies he wouldn't catch a female monarch take her take her eggs and raise them in the basement through the their life cycle now here the abbot is saying that the season of butterfly is almost sustained for 6 month and he spent uh, almost 6 month but he couldn't get a success to find out the tagged butterfly you know butterfly is a very small it has feather it can flow any place anywhere uh, we cannot imagine that how much distance a butterfly can complete like it can complete 10 uh, 10 km 5 km 15 km 5 uh, 50 km or 100 km we don't know the only god knows so this is the all about that if you are going to chase them one by one and if you are going to catch these tagged butterfly you wouldn't catch every many so but you would be not able to catch them on daily basis you cannot catch them because if they have gone if they have flown uh, in the air so it's very hard to again catch them because all the butterflies look similar and you have to find out your tagged butterfly and your butterfly may be hide hidden inside uh, or inside or behind something but you cannot imagine that where your tagged butterfly is so what he did he started bringing up he started raising a flock of butterflies in his basement and checking or or inspecting the eggs of the butterfly from eggs to caterpillar to pupa to adult butterfly so what he observed 
द एक्स फर्स्ट द एक्स कन्वर्ट इन टू कैटर पिलर फ्रॉम कैटर पिलर टू पूपा टू पूपा टू अडल्ट बटरफ्लाई देन ही वुड टैग द बटरफ्लाईज विंग्स and let them go so what is the process first he started raising the flock of butterflies when the bird after after crossing the after uh, reproduction of the of the baby after after baby is convinced after uh, the butterfly give birth to a egg then what is his process he observed the eggs and raised them in his bed basement uh, what the eggs convert into caterpillar and then after caterpillar to pupa and then after to adult butterfly then he would get tag the butterfly and after that then he would tag um, the butterfly on his wings when he when the butterfly becomes so young or oh, so adult and let them go and make them but make this butterfly free from his appetites from his boundary for several years his basement was home to thousands of monarchs in different stages of development and now here for thousands of years the basement was uh, was occupied by this boy abright as he was working uh, working without without tirelessly and he was looking very fine future in this field now here now number and kind of butterfly collect in six weeks what are the uh, in first weeks <clears throat> he had caught almost all the all the butterflies but the most probably he caught uh, the brush footed butterflies which he which he caught in the first month second month third month fourth month fifth month sixth seventh eighth ninth and all the months he had caught but these butterflies monarch and snob these are the rare butterfly which cannot be seen or which cannot be observed very easily eventually i began to lose interest in tagging butterfly so i got also get bored uh, after tagging many butterfly it is tedious and here is not much feedback abright said in all the time i did it he laughed so he what he did is that he, there was not too much outputs when i just uh, making the butterfly tag and and he was laughing he was laughing then when he was giving when he was delivering his interview uh, and he was started laughing only two butterflies i had tagged were e captured so he told that only two butterflies i have contained i have got which i tagged earlier now i very now with the with very hard struggle i finally got success to recapture the tagged butterfly they were not more than 75 miles from where i live and where i got these two butterflies these these butterflies were only 75 km far from my house and 75 uh, miles if i compare them into km it's almost 150 around uh, the kilometers distance they had covered these two tagged butterfly were covered read now this is the first part and the second part we will cover it in a very uh, in a very next video but now you, i hope you got the answer how how did a book become uh, a turning point in the richard a bright life so in this book the richard got that there was a person who is uh, like how did a book become a a turning point in the book in the richard as the richard has a great influence a great in attention a great love towards the butterfly to collection the butterfly so here there was a task in with in this in this book the book name was the the travel of monarch x then he, the student has to tag the student has to tag a butterfly and uh, keep an eyes and or and after a while then he had to submit all the reports regarding the uh, butterfly's nature to dr urhat and the person the boy the child will get an opportunity uh, to study with with him so this was his words how did his mother helping his mother was so so kind lady he, she encouraged him to focus more and more about the study and she also had gifted him microscope telescope camera and other fields of interest 
where he feels so convenient where he feels so uh, so proud so this is the two questions of the chapter i hope you have learned the chapter very nicely and we will cover the second part uh, in the next video thank you so much my dear students to be with me